Hey, what's up? Lawn Care Nuts, thanks for coming back for yet another week. I mean, who knew that dipping your selfie stick in salt water when you're shooting videos was gonna cause it to rust and decay and freeze up? And All right, so today's video is gonna be kind of a hodgepodge of a lot of different things. Do I say hodgepodge too often? One thing is for sure though, there aren't gonna be really any lawn tips in this video. So if you're here just for the tip, you probably should come back next spring or at least in a couple weeks maybe. But seriously though, historically my viewership falls off to almost nothing once November hits, keeps going down in December. I do get a little bit of a lift because I have some Christmas light videos that get a little bit of play. But for the most part, this channel goes almost dead all the way until March of the following year. Now, when I was up north, that wasn't such a big deal because I could do like snow blow or video. stuff like that along with my Christmas light videos and I could kind of keep some kind of traffic flow some kind of views going and keep you guys interested but now that I'm in Florida I don't really have any snow or do I? Or do I? Well, I can tell you there's at least one marketing manager who heads up the marketing for a small-sized electric equipment manufacturer that thinks that I actually do get snow here in Florida. But more on that later. What we're doing today, though, is gonna kinda be behind the scenes kind of stuff. By the way, I need to get some fertilizer into these palms. Good thing I got what they need. So anyways, back to what I was talking about. What I've decided to do this year in order to kind of keep some of you guys interested is do like behind the scenes kind of videos because I am getting quite a bit of sponsorship opportunity now as you guys know and so that requires me to do some pretty cool videos that are a little bit different than what I always do here on the channel and I'll always tell you where those are released at and who I did them for and why but I figured in the meantime I might as well show you guys some of the behind the scenes stuff because I figured you might be interested. Okay so today I have to shoot the actual review of the mower right there. Last week what you saw was us doing some actual use of the mower just getting used to it understanding it because it helps if you've obviously used a mower because it's really tough to give an overview of a product that you've never used. Now that I've used the mower, I've got one here. Now I can do the actual review and talk about the features and the benefits. And that's a video that I'll be releasing for Toro here in the next couple weeks. Today we're going to be talking about this Toro 22 inch recycler. I wanted to do some different kind of overhead filmage so I'm going to have to make an overhead camera rig here and I have to be mindful of the moving sunlight so I'm going to have to do this kind of quick because I need to stay in the shade here to keep the light. So as you can see, I've got a small camera crane here. I actually bought this several years back when I was doing some freelance video work for different businesses in Northwest Indiana. I bought this, it was, I think it was less than $200, but it gives you really nice sweeping shots. Here, let me show you what you can get with it. All right, so I think I've got the camera crane ready to go. Let's check out this little setup here. Now it just so happens that I've got it weighted. I've got uh, 15 pounds on this end, and that does a pretty good, you know, that does a fairly stable weight. It actually will take it down. See, that actually holds it pretty stable, um, which again, it allows you to make these really smooth, fluid movements, right, with the camera, which I'll show you what that does. And get some really pretty shots. By the way, this is what you use if you don't have a drone, but you still want to get up in the air. But for our purposes today, we're going to set it in one spot, so I'm going to go ahead and take it up. I'm pretty sure that every lawn care video on YouTube nowadays requires the obligatory first person blower shot. So let me make sure I get that. I think I need to practice just a little bit more on that one.
I'm just kidding, it's not really that heavy. UPS wasn't so gentle with the packaging, so when they delivered, the box was completely taped up, and this was outside of it. Great job, UPS. Thanks for taking care of my stuff. Alright, so this is the official unboxing of the Quintanilla Suflus a Nije. I thought it'd be interesting to show you. I still have the old snow blowers that these guys sent me over the last couple years. I know, it's funny, right? Actually, check out this text message between me and my wife from a couple weeks ago when this new snow blower arrived here at the house. So anyway, here's the new one, the Ion 80. It's actually got two batteries, which is what gives it more power, and you can see it's much larger. It's a true snow blower. These are actually snow throwers. So this one here is the first generation. It was called the Ion 40, you can see here, and the battery went right in there. This is the, one of the ones we took to the beach. This is the second generation, which is almost the same from what I can tell, it uses the same battery and everything, except this one you could also plug if the battery died, so that was kind of smart. This is their newest one. I don't think this one is really supposed to be meant as a competitor to this or to that. I think this is supposed to kind of be more for the person that has more heavy duty type jobs that they need to get after. So I'm looking at what I could do with this. What could I power with it? Of course I could take it to the beach and throw sand and have a lot of fun. I thought about maybe going to the local volleyball courts and dressing up all official and acting like I'm the guy that's supposed to clean the courts and use that. Might do that. But I also thought, what if I used it to power... Of course you guys are a lot smarter than me, so any ideas you have of what I can do with this thing to test it, please let me know in the comments below. Of course, the first question that I have, and not that it's going to matter to me though, is, is this battery, which is the old battery from that unit, is this battery compatible with the new ones? And it looks to be, looks like it's got the same fittings and everything. Look on the back here. Now I'm no expert on what these labels mean. Maybe one of you can tell me, but it says IBAT 40 is the model number. This model number is IBAT 40 XR. And it looks like this battery from the previous model is 40 volts for amp hours. Is that what that stands for? AH? Whereas this one is 40 volt, but 5 amp hours. I don't know. 
about. Those of you who know about this stuff, tell me, are those batteries compatible? Are they going back and forth? Because if they are, that's a good reason for someone to upgrade then because they'd actually have extra batteries. Anyway, that's it for me today. I'm Alan Hayne, The Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, put your comments in the questions below, and I'll see you in the lawn.